Welcome to the 2015 NCHA Great American Insurance Group Summer Spectacular. It's been an exciting night of cutting with a five and six year old non-pro final and the man of the moment is Ray Baldwin who rode Don't Look Now to Victory with a 219. Well done Ray, how does it feel right now? It's hard to put into words. It's a special feeling uh, to win here in, in Will Rogers in Fort Worth. Uh, there's nothing like it and, and to do it on a uh, homebred horse that, uh, that we bred out of uh, Don't Look Twice is a pretty special, pretty special moment. So I, uh, I can't thank uh, you know, Phil Rapp enough, uh, John Mitchell, uh, Sean Flynn, and uh, Corey Pounds who helped me out and always helped me out and uh, do such a wonderful job getting the cows uh, in the right position, getting my cows picked and, and nursing me through these runs because sometimes it can get a little, a little dicey. But uh, when you have good help like that, good horses, uh, makes all the difference. I don't necessarily put a – all the you know great runs together but uh when it fits it's a special special feeling so you were cutting steers tonight which is a little different uh, how did that feel well i was nervous being early i knew i had to get far away from the herd just because the, the sheer number of cattle there and the steers can get hard uh, get hard uh, to be pushed out sometimes and uh, we've cut in california some so i've had a little bit of practice but uh it's certainly uh, different and uh you just have to hope for the best and hope you cut clean. And once you get them cl cut clean, they've been really good this week. So uh, my main goal was just to get cut in the center of the pen and let my horse do his job. Uh, my first cut was a little rough, uh, and Phil lends some wor words of encouragement, saying basically, let's get it going here, quit messing around. Uh, so I got hooked up, and then my run built, and the horse was really good. So uh, what, a, what a special night. What was it about your run, you think, that really um, solidified it for you? Well, the, the second two cuts were pretty good. I drove the cows uh, out of the herd, so my first cut maybe got taken a little points off. But my horse, I know he felt good. I don't know how he looked, but he must have been just electric, a lot of eye appeal, uh, correct in the, in, the, in the right spots for the most time. Maybe got a little out of position uh, in a spot, but he was just really good and really cowy tonight, and uh, he was ready to go. And consistent because tonight it was an interesting cutting. There were some really exciting um, runs, perhaps no perfect runs. There are you know a few glitches, but some some moments of brilliance. What were you thinking as you were watching this? I knew there were so many good riders and horses left that uh, if I finished in the top three or four, I would be happy. I, I my job was done. I'd gotten my horse shown. He was really good, and wherever the chips fell, whatever position I fell, I was happy. And I knew, I just figured with so many great riders and so many good horses that they would get beaten by then. But uh, I certainly uh, thought there would be another big run. And, and the cows got tough. That's, those steers got really tough, and nobody could find three good cows towards the end. And they all, there were several riders that got really close, and I figured that would be the, the run that would beat me. And uh, they just, just never happened. So what a night. So tell us a little bit more about the horse, Don't Look Now. You said it was the, the progeny of Don't Look Twice. How similar are they? He is the first, uh, the first colt out of her. He was a dual ray uh, stallion, and we left him a stallion maybe a little too long. Uh, Phil showed him, or showed him last year in his four-year-old year, and he had a lot of talent. You could see there was a good horse in there, but he was just being a stallion just got in his way, and he couldn't calm down he couldn't uh couldn't get past it so we finally made the decision last summer maybe a little late to geld him and it's taken him quite a long time to get that testosterone out but in the last three months he's really softened up and really let you use him more and uh he's got a lot of draw to him he's just a, a special horse but it's it's neat because he didn't start you could he didn't start out a, a great horse it was a there were some rough moments and uh, we almost uh i gave up on him but, but thought maybe we should find something else maybe sell him in a different direction but being that he was out of don't look twice we just wanted to make sure that you know that we did everything we could to make sure he had a had every uh, possibility to be a good show horse well i bet you're thinking in lucky stars you didn't give up now on on the horse um is this the biggest win of your career to date uh, absolutely um i won i won the super stakes four-year-old and that was a that was my first win here in fort worth but to win it on a homebred horse here out of our great mare is uh, it's special. So it's definitely the highlight of my career so far. So. Well, enjoy, and thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.